Hey everyone. Looking over the news this past week, I thought that the banned flock of seagulls had died in a plane crash, but then it turned out to just be a plane downed in Russia that was struck by some seagulls. Makes a change to the Russian government crash in the plane, though. Therefore, this week we look further eastward to Hong Kong, where protests have escalated faster than the number of lawsuits filed against Jeffrey Epstein's estate. This week there were shots of the Hong Kong police firing pepper spray, certainly not the first time I've seen some Chinese overseasoned. And to use another cooking reference, the protests have boiled over into regular life. The airport was forced to close and there are now activists encouraging people to drain their bank account and start a run in the Chinese banking system. In response, the police made sure to turn up to work extra early to beat the crowds. The citizens have for the past 10 weeks been voicing concerns about the legal system, specifically a controversial extradition bill, as well as general police brutality and corruption. To make it more complicated, they're also protesting about how they're not Chinese whilst speaking in Chinese, and they chose to use the old British colonial flag to represent how they want to remain independent and not be a colony. So far, so confusing. Here's an idea. Why doesn't the Queen ask for Hong Kong back, fly Meghan Markle out there and let the Chinese do everyone a favour? Protests have made reference to how they need a unifying Martin Luther King kind of a figure, and that's probably the one thing that Beijing would be keen to go along with, even maybe going so far far as to organise a motel for the leader to stay at and be assassinated at under mysterious circumstances. On a more ominously violent note though, a photo emerged in recent days of a sports stadium brimming with military equipment in a way that I've only ever really seen done with toys on a child's bedroom floor. You know, for all the Chinese claim to dislike the Japanese, it certainly does have a copycat feeling of December 1941 to it all. Anyway, see you next week and if you like these, let's subscribe.